Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today, we're going to be taking a look at a new deck here I've made using Zygarde EX with the Sidewide GX. Now, on my stream, I was testing out different Zygarde builds, I tested out Zygarde Lycanroc, and I also tested out Zygarde Decidueye, and I, I went to see how it would work, and I had some good luck with it, I think. I think the deck worked pretty well for me. Um, there were a few games where the deck wasn't going okay. I, I had a game against a Sylveon deck. And he kind of just trapped me, but this baby carbon came in handy, I'll tell you that right now. So, basically the gist of this deck is just hit hard with Zygarde, and you have Decidueye in play to do more damage. Now, one thing I like about this deck is what you want to use with Zygarde's attack. Zygarde has three different attacks. Each of them are really good. Its first attack, Lampuls, can do 40 damage if there's a stadium in play. You can turn that to 60 with a strong energy, and 90 to a GX or an EX with a choice band, which puts a lot of damage on that Pokemon. But I actually think Cell Storm might be a little funner here. So for two energy, you do 60 damage, and obviously there's strong energy and choice band, so you can do even more damage. You just heal 30 from this Pokemon. So you can just heal your Zygarde up, and then use Decidueye to build up more damage. And I think that's what kind of we are going to build this deck morally based off of. It's just using Cell Storm. Lance Wraith is good too to take big KOs, but Cell Storm might just be the best attack to use at the moment for Zygarde. The healing is good. Zygarde does have a lot of HP. It has 190 HP, making Zygarde pretty difficult to knock out in one hit. Um, it's literally 190 HP is a lot. It's got the same amount of HP as a Lapras GX. Just take that in. Um, now, Zygarde's best partners have always been stuff like Regirock, Carbink, Garbodor with Garbotoxin, and uh, now Lycanroc, but I'm going to use it with Decidueye here. So Decidueye is another really tanky card. It's got 240 HP, really hard to knock out. It's got an amazing ability with Feather Arrow. Once your turn before you attack, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. That's simple. You just put 20 damage on something. Um, it allows you to do bigger damage with Zygarde. It allows you to manipulate your damage. Really good. And Decidueye even has some other good traits. Razor Leaf, for one grass and a DCE, you can do 90. 90 isn't bad. Um, Feather Arrow technically makes that 110 damage. Um, then you have Hollow Hunt, which is an amazing Jex attack. Put three cards from your discard pile into your hand. That is incredible. Like, any three cards you really need, you can just put back into your hand. And say, okay, I, I need to get back, you know, I need to get back a few energies. I probably will need to use another choice band. So let's just get those back. Very simple, very good card. Um, now, the original list I had didn't use, like, DCE and Rainbow, but I found that not attacking with Decidueye as often is really bad. So my original list only had the one Rainbow and, like, a few energies. No DCEs, just the one Rainbow. I've modified the list a little bit so that you can actually attack with Decidueye, because I think attacking with Decidueye is just too good to pass up, right? It can go through stuff like Lapras, which is good, um, but I think you kind of need to attack with Decidueye. You can't really just attack with Zygarde the entire game. I think you do need to use Decidueye every now and then, so I made this list a little more um, lenient towards using Decidueye also, but that's how it goes. Um, because my original list didn't have as many rainbows, it did not have DC at all. DC can be a little clunky with Zygarde, but we have seven, technically nine energies to put Zygarde with. I mean, you don't always need to use rainbow for Decidueye, you can use it on Zygarde if you're really that desperate. Um, now, some good things with Zygarde, a strong energy and a stadium in play makes it so that it does one-shot basics. This is a basic killing Pokemon. It's very easy to knock out something on the first turn with Lance Pulse, um, and right now the, the format has a lot of evolutions, like Vulpix, Beldum, Zora, Combi, <laughs> um, Rockruff, they're all basics, and you can just knock them out with Lance Pulse with a strong energy if you have a stadium in play. So that's one of the good things with Zygarde, is it can take easy one-shots with Lance Pulse on basics, and then you kind of just go off with its other attacks. Now, we do play a 1-1 Carbink. Originally, I went with 2-2. I found 1-1 works perfectly fine. It's just a way to build up our Zygarde if we really need to. Um, you know, if we're playing against a mill deck, I guess it could be good. Um, we do have the Energy Keeper Karmic in this deck, too. It makes it harder for our Zygarde EX to lose its basic energy when you're playing against something like Sylveon, um, which you will see go good. And one thing Sylveon likes to do is it does like to use Silent Lab to shut down Energy Keeper. Um, but with Karmic Break, it actually turns this baby Karmic into a Stage 1 Pokemon, making Silent Lab not work against this, which is really funny. I found that out on my live stream. 
testing the Zygarde deck is that when you play Carbon Break onto this card bank and it's not Labs in play, you can still use Energy Keeper. Like, it still counts. So it's really, really fun to do that. Um, we got two Shamans in here. Shaman's a lot better than Lele in this deck because with Shaman, you can draw cards and try and get more Decidueyes out that quicker. We got a 3 3 Decidueye line. One tap of Lele in the deck again for Wonder Tag and Energy Drive since we do have DC, of course. And those are all of our Pokemon. Other finding Pokemon you could add if you really, really, really wanted to. You could technically add, I don't know, if you wanted to go crazy, you could add like Reggie Rock into the deck with Red Bedrock Press if you really wanted to. Um, you could even, you know, maybe add this Reggie Rock, which isn't bad. It can do a lot of damage to an EX Pokemon, right? Um, I don't think it's that necessary, but there are some other attackers. You can even run the other Zygarde that we have. We got this Zygarde right here with look out an aura break i mean if you're playing against gardevoir or like dark ride or umbreon or something like that you can use aura break here you can even use the geo strike zygarde um it kind of does more damage than lance wraith it's a non-ex attacker which is good but i feel like it's only better when you only when you do have more carbings we only play the one one line of carbing so i don't think you really need the geotech zygarde it could be good though right you can use rumble trap something feather arrow pick off stuff on the bench it's a pretty good card um you could go with that zygarde if you really wanted to those are some choices and some other options you could add to the deck if you really wanted to um so yeah those are all the other attackers you can add if you want we can go now into the items we got one field blower again field blower is great when you need to use feather arrow you can get rid of you know garble toxin but just getting rid of tools anyway is just amazing two level balls level ball can not only search out rowlet and dark tricks it also grabs us our energy keeper carving which could be very important when you're playing against an energy denial deck one rescue stretcher gets you back zygarde we do have one revitalizer also so we can get a decidueye line back or not a whole line but you know you get my point uh one switch zygarde does have a big retreat cost the Sidueye also has a two retreat cost so switch is really nice um we got three trainers mail um again there's stuff like force giant plants level ball ultra balls choice band there's a ton of important stuff to get in this deck so trainers mail helps us four ultra balls to search out our deck for our pokemon three versus seekers instead of four um it just seems a lot better um three force giant plants i would go four but we don't have a full line of the Sidueye. we don't also play file plume so i think three is fine enough as it is two lysanders again you lysander something you knock it out um two ends for draw support four sickers for your draw support we do play one Olympia in the deck too. Um, again, a lot of stuff in this deck do have a big retreat cost. Olympia can also go well with Cell Storm. It heals 60 damage if you can pull off the Cell Storm after you Olympia. Uh, we do play three Choice Bands too, so we can do more damage. One Float Stone for the free retreat, and we go to the energy here. We do play four Strong Energy. Strong Energy is the best thing for Zygarde to make it do more damage. Two DCE so that we can attack with our Decidueye or our Tapu Lele. Two Rainbow so that we can actually use um no, wait, so we can actually use razor leaf i mean if you want you can rainbow energy use tapu cur too i mean hollow hunt is probably better than using tapu cur but if you really want you can use rainbow energy to use tapu cur to heal your zygarts it kind of goes nicely with the whole healing theme with cell storm and stuff like that and we play three basic fighting strong energy rainbow can work fine enough as it is so yeah this is my zygarde decidueye deck that i built here for pcgo tested on stream i think this is my favorite build a list right now with the extra energy to attack with the Sidueye and stuff like that so yeah let's go up into some matches with the deck see an action on pc joe and see if this deck has potential to make zygarde a formidable opponent in the standard format right now so let's go find some games with the deck and i'll see you guys in just a minute okay let's go let's find some games now with our deck here and <laughs> let's have some fun and uh, we'll see what we are up against our first match is against a can't tell <laughs> too many types it could be vespaquin i guess i doubt it though um, or it could be Vicable. I think it is actually gonna be Vicable. I'm recording this as like the regionals are going on, so there's been a lot of Vicable Bulu on stream, so it might be Vicable Bulu, which is a bit of a tough matchup when you are weak to grass. One of the issues with using Zygarde is its atrocious weakness to grass types. It's one of the worst things about it is that it does have a really awkward weakness. Grass is really good right now. You got Bulu, Decidueye, Lorantis. Yeah, just, that's the one problem with using Zygarde is it just has a really awful weakness. But we'll see if we can counter it. These mulligans, though, aren't helping, though, so uh, hopefully we can uh, <laughs> stop with the mulligans and actually end my opponent. Um, Alright, mulligan in again. <laughs> awesome sauce. Alright, let's see here. What are we going to find? Another mulligan. That's what we're going to find. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, we did take out a carbink, so I don't know if that made a difference or not. Alright, here we go. But unfortunately, we got a bit of an awkward hand. I think this hand is decent, I guess. We can still grab Tapu Lele, which isn't bad. Um, we do need to end him here. One thing with playing against a Vicable deck, you can never, you can never not give them a lot of cards so they can end out, so they can just rare candy turn to Vicable. Not looking good. So, uh, yeah. Well, you never know, it might not be Vicable. Probably is, though. 
Um, unfortunately, these extra cards are getting my opponent a lot more Pokemon to put down, um, which isn't good. Sadly, big Tapu Koko here doesn't have a weakness, so we can't knock it out. Kind of a bummer. I think we just go Ultra Ball here, get rid of, get rid of these two. Don't think we'll need them. Gotta go Tapu Lele, guys. Um, one thing I would like to do is attack with Decidueye in this matchup, uh, since it isn't weak to grass. Um, I could also go Lele too. We'll see. We'll see what I do. Um, hmm. Like, I could just DCE this thing, right? But I think we'll just risk it and go try to hit him with Zygarde. We'll see. See what this end gives us here. Okay, that's fine. We can we can do stuff with this hand. This hand's okay. We got something for next turn. Yeah, I think we'll just put a Rainbow Energy on Rowlet here and threaten a Decidueye. Seems good to me. Not a terrible turn. I would have liked to have gotten a Decidueye down with four giant plants, but sometimes it doesn't always work for you. We just gotta hope he doesn't, you know, you know, get a, a Vikable down that quickly. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that end paid off. I mean, he definitely had the Vikable turn two. No supporter. Mm, I might have to end him. He might have the turn two Vikable. Let's see. We don't get the end. Uh, do we need it? I mean, we, oh no, we do have end. Do we end him? I think we gotta end him here and try and slow him down a little bit. I don't mind that. Wow, well, I don't know. He didn't do anything. He only shaman for one. He might not even have a good hand as it is. So I think it's fine just to chill. Um. We can hit Decidueye with the Force Giant Plants, but I think I'm just going to attack with Zygarde right now. Seems a little better. Doesn't really matter. We'll go sick. I'm hoping this dude doesn't have the thing. Wow. Talk about whiffing. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <sighs> How? Dude, why? <gasps> are you joking? Dude, come on. Well, that sucks. That just... I don't understand this game sometimes. Oh, oh my god, dude, that whiff... And now watch, my opponent's gonna Vika Volt me, and I'm gonna be in trouble. No, okay. Still annoyed that I whiffed, though. I think we gotta go Sycamore again, unfortunately. Shaman for one... Eh, I guess. I mean... Sure? The one energy could be anything, right? So I think we'll go for it and try and risk it here. I don't mind that at all. Okay, paid off. Kind of. If I had a forest down, I could have grabbed Dark Tricks, unfortunately, but we don't. Um, hmm. I think we'll just grab another Zygarde. I could grab another Shaman, I guess, too. I don't know. Get a Zygarde down, I guess. Sure. Can't end him, that's for sure. He's probably going to attack him with Vikavolt, so we got to watch out for that. But as long as we can at least get some decent damage on this thing, I'll be happy. So we'll go with the Sycamore here. And we still don't hit what we need i don't understand can this trainer's mail give me a four giant plant how many do i have in my deck two i mean that kind of explains it but we do need to land pull some here we do have dc in our hand which is good forest nah we whiffed all right we'll just grab lysander then i guess we're coming up a little short right now which is kind of sad um at the very least we can you know put some damage on this tapu coco we can you know put 70 on it with the feather arrow which isn't terrible i guess you know, we can threaten to knock it with Cell Storm next turn if we can find strong energy, which is pretty good. Um, so I think we're in a decent spot as long as my opponent doesn't do that. <laughs> as long as he doesn't have a supporter, though, we should be okay. He, I think he just top decked that, which still isn't a big deal. Strong energy can help him go through his deck a little bit, but that's fine. He is weak to fighting, so I mean, if we really want, we can maybe Lysander that. Uh, we just, if we can find a strong energy, I don't mind the Lysander on the, uh, the Vikable. Kind of surprised he... I don't know why he didn't attach to the uh, Vikavolt twice. It's kind of weird. Hmm. He could have put more energy on Vikavolt than he had. I don't know. That was a kind of weird play for my opponent. Um, still no forest, though. Our hand is actually not too good right now. We can't even take him out this turn, which kind of sucks. We're getting a little unlucky right now, folks. I think we just got to Lysander the Vikavolt and just hope for the best. I don't know. We can't knock him out. Can we? I don't think we can. I think we just gotta... I guess we just Lysander Vikavolt then and just hope for the best, sure. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> We're not knocking him out. If we had a stadium in play, 
Wait, a stadium in play. It'd be a little different. We put way more damage on him. That's fine. I think we just gotta settle with Lance Pulse. I could put DC down now. Yeah, sure, that's fine. We still have another Shaman. I guess we can just hit him with a Cell Storm. Sure. Force him to either retreat or something. He could still knock me out with uh, the Tapu Koko, I guess. We found a strong, though, it would have been nicer. That's why we didn't really want to put the uh, the DCE on the Zygarde, because we need it for Decidueye. But I'm pretty sure we still have a Shaman left. We can Ultra Ball for it next turn if we get knocked out, which will probably happen. He's going straight for a Bulu here. Um, okay. As long as he isn't drawing anything, I'm fine. Uh, there's a strong charge. We'll see what he does here. Um, he does have a few Pokemon built up, which is bad. If we can maybe get a Lysander, that'll be good. Um, but we can, at the very least, we can Feather Arrow this Vikavolt and knock it out, which is good. And yeah, it looks like he had to just pay to retreat, which is perfect. That's kind of what I wanted to do. If he wasn't attacking me, we had to make him retreat. He will take two prizes, so we're going to have to try and see if we can end him here, but it is fine. As long as we can find DCE or like a strong energy, this will be good. And it looks like we do hit it. Uh, we'll go Ultra here. We'll get rid of Field Blower. I don't know if we're going to need that. I think I'll just grab the other Decidueye. I could go Shaman, I guess, but I'm going to probably just go... Uh, I mean, I guess we can Sycamore. I mean, I don't know if it really matters too much. So, first things first. We will get rid of that Vika Bolt. See what our prize is going to be. A DCE would be nice. Strong. Uh, does it... I mean, we need to find a Stadium if we're going to knock this thing out. I don't know. We'll do Feather Arrow though for sure. Hmm. We're going... Uh, we're, we're literally 10 short knocking this thing out. That kind of sucks. Uh, I think we just go Sycamore and hope to hit a Force Giant Plants to take this uh, thing out. And I guess we just gotta also hope he didn't you know, get anything good off those prizes there. So here we go Sycamore and my dog is barking I know. Forest. Okay, I thought we whiffed it for a sec, but we didn't. Got a rescue stretcher too. I don't think we need it right now. But yeah, we will retreat here into Zygarde, and we will take out our first prize here. And, um, oh my god, why is there so much background noise? Freaking crows honking out. Crows outside, my dog's barking. Dang, alright. So we do find Carbink, which is good. Um, question is, though, so does he have a uh, Vika Volt to knock me out? He's lost four grass energy. He is a little short on his energy right now. Never mind. <laughs> I say that and my opponent immediately does that. I need to shut my window. I will be right back. Stupid crows outside. Oh, there's a field blower. Uh, is that our last choice band? No, we still have one left. He is going to end me, which is fine. You know, as long as he doesn't hit the rare candy vehicle, we should be okay to just keep doing stuff here. Hopefully. And he concedes. <laughs> so there you go. We beat a pretty bad matchup because the Bulu destroys us because, you know, we're weak to grass. Um, the Vika Volt deck is everywhere right now. But again, it's a pretty bad matchup for us. But we got kind of lucky there that we were able to uh, scrape through. Obviously, my opponent got a little unlucky with his draws and stuff. But again, that's just the nature of this game sometimes. But we'll definitely get another game in here with our deck. And hopefully by the end of the video, we can open up a Garden's Rising pack because... Dude, I think I, I've had to at least opened up like 10 or 11 packs now of just straight packs, not even just Guardians Rising. Probably 7 to 8 Guardians Rising packs total. Not a single EX or GX full or anything. So, I gotta, this next poll has to be something good. Like, it has to be a Secret Rare DC, a Secret Rare Max Potion, a, like a full art Lele. It's gotta be something, man. Like, I'm feeling it. The, the amount of, the amount of polls I've got and hadn't, and I haven't gotten anything out of them. It tells me we are bound to get something very, very soon. Hoping that's the case. I think we're playing against another Vikavolt Bulu deck, which, I mean, it's pretty bad. Again, a lot of people are going to be playing this deck because of how popular it was on stream at the regionals. I'm just going to start with Lele here. Seems fine. Lele is a decent starter. We can, you know, put pressure on with Energy Drive soon if we need to. I don't mind getting the Lele start. We have a lot of ways to switch it out. I think here we just level ball for Rowlet. We could also grab a Baby Carbink if we really needed to. There's a lot of options we got with this hand. I think our hand is good for the moment. We'll just see what we are going to be playing against here. Mmm, Mega Guardi. Interesting. Uh, that matchup could go a little interesting. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for Rowlet. So Carbink Break is in the deck. That's what I needed to see. Mmm, kind of like losing Field Blower, not going to lie. I think I'm just going to Float Stone, Rowlet, do this. I kind of have to. Just so I can draw more cards here with Shaman. Maybe we can hit Forest and go to Sidueye. Hmm? I, I feel it coming. 
Uh, drew another choice band. These are very important. I don't like seeing them. We got an end. I think I'm just going to end them. I feel like Field Blower is good to get rid of Spirit Links and Sky Field. Choice Band is good so we can actually do more damage here. So let's just end them. And alright, not too terrible, I guess. Um, I'm just going to put it on the active. And let's go Shaman here and see if we can find ourselves Ultra Ball or a Decidueye. We still can hit them. Nope. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Alright, we'll pass. That's fine. Bit of a bit of a whiff there, unfortunately, on the Decidueyes. But uh, at the very least, we can put energy on Lele. I think we can just put pressure on with Tapu Lele. Again, we don't have a weakness. So we don't have to worry about the Psychic type on Gardevoir. And we might as well just go Energy Drive here. Um, so yeah, it seems fine. I might just have the Rainbow Energy because then we can keep we can keep a uh, Tapu Cure for later. We ne you never know. We could actually use Tapu Cure. Zygarde does can't get knocked out by Gardevoir, but he'd have to clear his entire bench off, which is good. He is gonna end me, which is honestly what I was hoping he would do, so we wouldn't have to sick more away some resources here. So open this end gives me a good hand, and maybe we can hit him with Lele. That works too. <laughs> that works too, and he actually didn't get anything. That is huge. That is huge. All right, nice. Um, yeah, we're gonna lose our carbon here, but we do have rescue stretcher in the deck, so it is all good. And we can just grab ourselves a dar the prize. <laughs> no, my dark tricks, where are you? That sucks. My dark tricks are prized. That sucks. All right, that's fine. We'll go field blower. Don't need that right now. That sucks. We prized a dark tricks. That's fine though. Not the end of the world. So two of our Dark Surprise, great. Uh, let's see what we get here. Nothing really that good. Uh, we can Feather Arrow, his active, I guess. And I guess we just pound him with Energy Drive for now. Put some good damage on this thing and then knock him out next turn. Seems good. Seems pretty good to me. We're in a pretty good spot right now. Unfortunately, if that Dark Tricks was in prize, we would have been able to get a Decidueye going. We'd have two in play, which would have been great. But that's fine. We could probably get one off our prize. You're probably going to take him out anyway, so it's not the end of the world. I think I'm honestly just going to switch into Zygarde and knock him out Lance Pulse. I feel fine with that. I mean, Lele we can use for later if we really need to. I think we can just go Zygarde here instead of just finishing him off with Lele. I don't mind that. It's a little overkill anyways, you know. We can always keep the Lele for later. It's got enough energy on it, you know, if we really need to do big damage to a Gardevoir and Zygarde isn't cutting it. We have our Tapu Lele, but I, I, maybe, I might be overthinking here. My opponent could always end me, and then we would lose this, you know, hand. Okay, so we do see a Field Blower for my opponent. We'll see what he gets rid of. I don't mind him getting rid of the Float and the Choice. I think he's going to do that. I don't know if we'll get rid of Forest. Because he would have known I grabbed it as Dartrix, you know. I would have been able to get a Decidueye down, so I don't think he... Yeah, he didn't get rid of Forest, because he probably knew that I had a Dartrix prize, so that's fine. I'm happy he didn't do that. Okay, that I'm not happy about. I think I just bring out Shaman. Could have brought out Rowlet, but I'm fine with just bringing out Shaman. He's forced him to find a Mega Gardevoir here to knock it out. And, okay, the disruption is real. At the very least, we still keep our Tapu Lele, which is, you know, perfect. But, you know, we're still going to need to get some things here so we can... Okay, not the, not the worst hand, but not the best. Scoundrel Ring. Now, my opponent is going to be able to go off here. We'll see if he can get the Gardevoir going. He probably will knock me out. He just needs a Spirit Link and a Mega Gardevoir. I don't know, maybe I'm like the luckiest man in the world and this dude has like a few things prized, but we should be able to um, hit him next turn. I think we just go Lele, to be honest with you. I think it might be too late to uh, just land pulse him. At the very least, this guard on the bench can be picked off. Pardon me with Feather Arrow, so that's good. And I think he's just going to go Gardevoir. But again, if he doesn't have Spirit Link, then he's going to just have to pass his turn by Mega Evolving, which will be really good for me. So we'll see if he actually has to do that or not. I don't mind if he has to. Yeah, it looks like he has to. Okay, now we need to find a switching guard though, because I don't really want to retreat my Shaman, you know what I mean? I don't really like retreating Shaman here. Um, but I think we kind of have to, guys. We kind of have to. Kind of blows, but that's fine. We'll just Ultra Ball here. Grab nothing. Choice Band Lele. Yeah. Kind of burning a few resources, but again, we still have options for Hollow Hunt, and we whiff. Okay, Trainer's Mail, give me the switch. Dang it. <laughs> no. That sucks. Well, we completely whiffed, so that, that, that really sucks, but I mean, 
at least he's only taking out Shaman, which is kind of more cannon fodder than anything else. A matchup like this is, you know, good when you can use the Safeguard Carbon as opposed to Energy Keeper. Um, I don't know. I think... Ah, uh, no, another Fuel Blower. And he gets rid of my Forest, which means we can't use Lance Pulse, but we're probably going to sell Storm. Uh, not in the worst spot, though, still. Like, I think we're okay right now. It just kind of sucks that... We've kind of just been whiffing a little bit this game, especially with the Dark Trixes being prized and all that good stuff. And he is going to end me again. He's probably going to knock me out, so I don't really mind that end. I think it's better than Lysander. I'd rather him just knock out a puny little Shaman than knocking out, or at least putting damage on my Zygarde or Lele or Decidueye. So that's good. Alright, there you go. We got a forest, so if he Sky Fields, we can counter it. Um, so he is going to get another Megardivore down, which is scary. Still a scary situation to say the least, guys. It's not over yet. I think we just go Cell Storm here. Yeah, I think we just gotta go Cell Storm. I get that. Nah, we can go Lele. It's fine. He actually is gonna get rid of that Gardevoir and the Hoopo. That kind of sucks. I kind of knew he was gonna do that. Yeah, I think we just go Lele and then we just retreat for one energy. It's not the end of the world. Still gives us time to build up our Zygarde, right? So it's all good. Works out in the end, we can hit him here, and I think I'm just going to go Energy Drive. I don't really want to play this Choice Band quite yet. Uh, we might need it when we want to go Land Wraith and try and take a knockout here. How many energies have I lost? One fighting. Alright, we still have a few fightings left, so. I'm just making sure, because when we actually need to go Carbon to build something up, then uh, we still know that we have a few fightings left. But the good thing here is we put a lot of damage on him. He's going to need to fill up his bench. He's going to need to find Skyfield to knock out Lele, and I'm fine with him risking it to do that. I think that'll pay off. This matchup is a little brutal because it is hard to knock out Gardevoirs really successfully. Um, I don't think it's that great of a matchup, especially since he can always retreat and then technically heal. He does find the Skyfield. Question is, is, does he find enough Pokemon to knock out my Lele? Technically, he needs to have a discard six Pokemon, which is possible. And, I mean, he still has a few Pokemon left in his deck, so... I think he's going to get it. Yep, that Hoopa guarantees it, basically. So our Lele will get knocked out here by Gardevoir. We can counter the Skyfield, though, with our Forest. But, again, if we had two Decidueyes in play, I think we'd be a little bit safer. The problem is, of course, if you were prized. Oh, he actually doesn't grab the Pokemon to knock me out. I mean, he could have went three EXs there, and I think he would have had the knockout. But it looks like he's opting to just grab Gardevoir and Shaman. It's kind of interesting. Because he grabs a Mega Gardevoir, and he's switching too. Alright, he's going to hit me with this. That's the problem. We have our Lysander, but he could always discard that Gardevoir, which I think he's going to do. If he does that, I think we'll be in trouble. If we had two Decidueyes, we would be able to knock him out Lance Wraith here, I think. But unfortunately, Decidueye just doesn't want to come to us. If we were able to do that, would have been ten times better. Unfortunately, though, the Dartrix has had to be prized this one game. Kind of sucks. I mean, yeah, he can just... Never mind, you can shame him then. He doesn't even have to get rid of this Gardevoir, which kind of scares me. Because if he got rid of that and we were able to knock him out, that would be awesome. But it uh, looks like that's not going to happen. That kind of sucks. But I'd rather him knock on my Lele over Zygarde, to be honest with you. Unfortunately, our hand isn't that good either. We don't have much to work with. We can at least bump his Skyfield, but he'll probably find another one. And, okay, he actually did get rid of the Gardevoir, which makes me feel a little safer right now. I would really like to find an end, though. I doubt we're going to get it, though, just because I don't really feel lucky enough to hit the end. Yeah, I told you. Best we can do is just do this and hope for the best. I mean, we can knock out a Gardevoir on the bench. I think we just need to hit his active, though. The active is the scariest thing right now. Yeah, I think we just got to go Land Wraith. We can knock him out at the very least, right? But... Kind of sucks. I did my math wrong, but it's fine. Hey, two cards I actually need. Okay, now we're in a bit of a better spot. Um, if my opponent can knock out Zygarde, which could happen, he says well played. I guess he has Mega Turbo Energy Lysander. It was a close game, I guess. We kind of came out a little whippy. We were able to pull off a pretty big Zygarde play. We'll see if he has a knockout, though. Mega Turbo. Does he have Lysander in the discard? And he's got in his hand. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. We got a little unlucky that game, unfortunately. Kind of blows, but we'll move on and find another game. We still showed off the deck pretty well there. We were able to take a pretty huge knockout with Zygarde, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, though, we did get a little unlucky. We kind of did. We got we got a few whiffs. Dartrix is being prized. Didn't help either. So, unfortunately, that game kind of didn't go too well. If we top-decked an N, I honestly think we could have won that game. 
I honestly think we could have won the game if we got an end top deck. I'm not gonna lie, but unfortunately it just didn't happen. We gotta move on. And uh, we'll find another match here. I don't know what we're playing against, but we will see. And uh, hopefully we will win. So it's all, it's all good. And I'm hoping we don't mulligan a million times like the last few games. And it looks like we are playing against an Excadrill deck, which is fine. Um, we'll see. I mean, he does have a lot of, you know, stage ones, which is fine. All right, we are going to be able to get a Decidueye down. Unfortunately, no energy. So, not too good. This hand is not too good, I'm not going to lie. If we had an energy, maybe this would be okay. I mean, at least we're going to be able to draw two cards here, because of the top deck end, maybe it's Mulligans. Not the end of the world. Kind of sucks, though. But at least we can get a Decidueye down. Maybe... I don't know. Next turn, if we can find a way to switch somehow, I would like to take a knockout on Zygarde, because he's using Drill Burrs and stuff. They're really... Pardon me, they're really weak, so... They are easy targets here. Um, so we'll draw two cards. Oh, there we go. We got an end. Perfect. Perfecto. So we'll be able to get a Decidueye down, which is good. Um, hopefully. Okay, so all our Decidueyes, Dark Tree are in the deck, our Carbink's in the deck, Lele's in the deck, one Zygarde's prize. Let's check the energy really quickly. Um, okay, so one Fighting is prize, but other than that, our Rainbows are in the deck, which is good, so I think that's fine. We just grab Decidueye here. And I guess we end him? I, I think he has a support. I'm gonna risk it anyways. We kinda need to, to try and get something down. Okay, we got a Zygarde, that's fine. As long as we got something we can put an energy on to, then I'm happy, because a deck like this, whiffing a, whiff, uh, whiffing a turn to, you know, not get energy down, is pretty big. So I'm glad we got that. So I think we can just do this, and pass. And then next turn, we can hopefully find a way to switch our Decidueye, knock out his Drill Burr, and all will be good. And maybe we can get two Decidueyes down, and then just completely knock out the Drill Burr without having to knock it with Zygarde. That would be pretty ideal. Highly doubt we're going to be able to pull that off. I don't know what stadiums the Excadrill Delmai's deck even runs. So, maybe we'll be okay. He might play that, um... I think there's a stadium that gives metal types no weakness. He might play that. We'll see, though. Um, but for now, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, just a DCE attachment. We'll see what else. Just a Fury Swipes. Double Tails? Okay, Triple Tails. Or, nah. Never. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Olympia. That works, too. We have Lysander, too. So, if he tries to mention another, another Drill Burr, we can just target that. Yeah, I'm just gonna put 20 damage on. It doesn't really matter. I put this damage. Uh, yeah, we just knock him out with land, land pulls here. And yeah, uh, we can just keep knocking out his Jobers as he puts them down, which is good. And if you get two Jobers down, that would change. But if not, we're fine. And we can probably one shot extra drill fairly easily, too. So it's good. We do see a teammate, though. We'll see what he finds here off those teammates. I, I guess his best thing to grab would be two Jobers because, you know, if he puts one down, we just lie, Sander, knock it out. Then he has no other drill burrs, so I think he has to go for two drill burrs here. If he doesn't grab two drill burrs, he's in a pretty bit of a pickle. Let's see if he does it or not. No, no, he grabbed one. Okay, that's his, that's his choice then. That is his choice. Now we'll just do twenty. We're gonna knock him out anyways with land pulse. Yeah, he's got six HP. I was just making sure I was doing the math right. Uh, yeah, we'll knock out his drill burr, and we can just keep targeting his drill burrs because we have Lysanders for days here with our VS Seekers, so. Yeah, the fact that you didn't get two drill birds there is a huge deal. I mean, we were going to be able to target them anyways with VS Seeker, and we would have took the one that he put an energy on, but still, that would have been his best play is to at least find two drill birds. The fact that he didn't kind of sucks. You can see why, like, Zygarde just takes out these, you know, little basic Pokemon that need a turn to evolve. You can see why Zygarde is pretty good, especially with Decidueye. It's a pretty, pretty deadly deck. We are very close to hitting these coins to be able to buy a pack of Guardians Rising, so hopefully that'll happen. But let's do another game here with our deck here, and let's see how this goes. And we are up against a Trevenant deck, most likely. That's not good. Obviously, we are weak to Grass, and the Grass matchups are pretty bad. Grass right now is pretty popular, which is one of the issues with playing Zygarde. Um, I guess, I mean, I, I saw a list that played, like, Turtonator in it, in, like, Decidueye. Maybe you can do that for the LOLs if you really wanted to. Uh, we're going to lose our Revitalizer, though. So, and a Decidueye, so that's not really ideal. A mirror match. Interesting. I think we attach Shaman for two and hope to hit a Rowlet. Oh, oh, I gotta sneeze. Okay, we're good. We're good. And we can just do this, I guess. Sure. I mean, we're in a good spot right now. We just grab our Rowlet. Seems fine. Yeah, uh, I think we're just playing against a Decidueye deck then. 
the Sidgewai Plume, probably. Um, the Grass weakness is pretty bad, and that's one of the problems with the Zygarde is, yeah, it is weak to Grass, which isn't very fun. But we will go Sycamore here, and hopefully we can get maybe two Decidueyes. Nah, wishful thinking. Um, hmm, I could even Field Blower my own Stadium away, so he doesn't have Forest. I kind of like that play. Because if he doesn't find a Forest Giant Plants, he's going to kind of fall back a little bit. I don't actually mind doing that. I mean, you might need Field Blower, though, for Choice Ban, which is also kind of relevant. But if it's... Eh, that's fine. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll make... We'll, we'll force him to have to find a Forest in order to get a Decidueye down. I think that's a decent play. He could be playing Plume, so the Field Blower might not even be useful in this matchup anyways, right? So, I think that was a decent play. Force him to find Forest. He could easily get one. He probably plays four, again, but... Again, you know, we can force him to dig for it. Bl blow an item that we don't need, probably, if he's playing Plume, which he is. So it is going to be Decidueye Plume. That's good. So I'm feeling okay right now. Um, the only problem is, is Zygarde being weak to grass. Now, the one good thing, he has to devote Feather Arrow to Zygarde to actually knock it out. Which is a good thing, because he can raise Relief for 180, but I'd live with 10 HP, so he would have to do Feather Arrow, which is a good thing. That's one of the good things about using Zygarde. Um, and yeah, that's probably my best play right now. Uh, he's gonna DC on this, that's fine, we will punish him with a big old, big old, uh, energy drive. He goes for a Revitalizer, does he have the forest, dart tricks, and stuff? No, he goes in, okay. Uh, if we can hit DC, that would be ideal, maybe a choice band too, before we can get a plume down. Let's find out. Okay, that's not bad. And he just straight up concedes, he's like, boy, I'm out. <laughs> hey, look at that, we gave a Guardian Rising pack. Um, let's just see, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, it was a standard Decidueye plume deck. Seems good. Pretty, pretty good, pretty good win. Pretty bad matchup though, because we are weak to grass, but we got really lucky there. Going first, I think, was the big deal. Getting the Lele Star was pretty good too. So we will be able, guys, to buy a pack here, and then we'll probably just do one more game with our deck, and then drop the video. So I've been on a huge EXGX dry streak here. This has, this pack has to be something. Like, there's no way that this Guardians Rising pack is nothing. Like, the amount of times I've opened a pack in the past week and got nothing. This has to be it. I'm gonna close my eyes when I even open this. Okay, before I flip over the rare, I'm gonna close my eyes. Two rares. I'm closing my eyes. Did I click them? That has to be like 12 packs now without pulling a single EX or GX. Are you serious? <sighs> oh my goodness. My pack luck. I could open a pack here if I really wanted to. Honestly, at this point, I'm really tempted just to open up a normal pack, but... I think we'll just move on and get another game in and just, oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, ever since I pulled that Tapu Coco, I have not gotten anything. I don't know, man. These packs don't like me today. And it looks like we're probably just another Vikavol Bulu deck. Another matchup that's bad. But we can end up the video with this matchup, hopefully. Depending on how it goes. Hopefully, like, last game where we won. Be nice. But yeah, man, these, these dry streaks have make it. Holy cow. Look at this hand. Thank God we're going first, too. If we're going second, he could end me, and then we lose his hand. and We'd probably get an awkward hand where we have to discard a bunch of useful stuff, so I'm happy. Happy about this. Yep, so does Bulu. Wow. That could not have been a better talk deck, if I'm going to be honest with you. So we can just go level ball here for Rowlet. Let's check the deck. So Carbink's in the deck. One Rowlet is prized. Uh, all our Decidueye. I need to check the energy really quickly. Okay. One Rainbow is prized, so that's something to note. Decidueye, we will need to deal with these Bulus. But yeah, we can just do this straight away, and uh, we're in a good spot. I do have to be careful for Tapper Wilderness, though. That's something I gotta watch out for, because he can easily use Tapper Wilderness to heal his Bulu. So we'll go Mail here. Okay, we didn't get anything. So we'll just go Sycamore. If we get another Decidueye, that'd be really good. I doubt it, though. Yeah, thought so. so. We will go Ultra Ball anyways and get rid of... Mm, I think we'll just get rid of these two. And I will get another Rowlet. Try and maybe mail, hope for a level ball. Get another Dartrix down for you know, next turn we get a Situate. Ultra Ball, that works too. Just grab that, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay, we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, yeah, we pass. Uh, my opponent does turn to Vika Volt me. That could get bad, because all he has to do is do Tapper Wilderness. And that would put me in a really bad spot. We have to watch out for that. He will end me, though, which is perfectly fine. But can we knock him out next turn? If we can find a Choice Band in Decidueye, I think we got the knockout. Okay, there's Choice Band. That's actually a good hand, too. 
Unfortunately, though, the forest does let him go into charger bug. That's one of the problems with using forest. I think he just straight up go charger bug. So he's probably gonna get a vehicle next year. Oh, okay, the choice ban. At least he's only doing 120, though. <laughs> At least he's only doing 120 to me, unless this dude has some weird tricks up his sleeves. But, yeah, he's just gonna have to do 120. He goes Ultra Ball again. I think he's he's really digging here. He's probably really digging to try and hit a... Uh, I think it goes Vika Bolt. He can't go straight into it, though, which is good. If he could, I'd probably just lose. Just grass. He had the grass. That's not good. Horn attack, 120. All right. Can we knock out this Bulu this turn? Even if we do that, we're still going to get knocked out by that Bulu, which still not putting us in a good spot. So I think we just Ultra Ball here. Get Dartrix. Hope to get a knockout with Cell Storm. Because we can do a lot of damage. We can do 110. Actually, I think we're short 20 damage to knock this thing out. That's not good. VS Seeker. Nah. We'll probably get that off of Shaman here. I'm hoping we can. Alright, come on. Give us give us the good stuff, Shaman. Alright. I will take that. We can even end him. I mean, he'll probably get a Beak Bolt off that end. But we can at least end him here and hope for the best. Okay. I think I'm just going to put a rainbow on. I think it's fine. We're just going Lance Pulse. We can even feel blower off that Choice Band. Sure. I'll get rid of the Forest and the Choice Band. Just try and minimize the things. Just Rainbow Decidueye. And I think we'll just... Okay, we're going to be able to do... We're going to do a lot of damage. But he can just do Tapper Wilderness. So I think I'm going to spread out this damage a little bit. I think I'll just hit this one. We can't quite knock him out. So I'm fine with just spreading out the damage a little bit. And just putting some on the other Bulu. And then just land pulsing him for 90. He probably will go Tapper Wilderness. Unfortunately. But that's fine. If he does that it is what it is. I can even maybe Lele if we can find like a Float Stone. But yeah, he goes Tapper Wilderness. That's fine. He got rare candy, yikes. <laughs> There's the Vika Volt. In before this dude somehow doesn't, you know, get the energy to attack me. Yikes. This is bad, though, guys. This is bad. The weakness ain't helping, though, because we would actually survive a land's judgment. He'd have to find a choice ban to knock me out. But he's probably going to go Tapper Wilderness here, heal himself. Use his GX attack, which I'd rather use it on his Zygar, though, to be honest with you, than Decidueye. So I'm fine with that. Via Seeker. Does he have a Lysander? He does. And he's using it, too. Oh god, he could knock out Shaman too. Hmm, let's see what he goes for. Oh, he's targeting his Zygarde. Okay. That was the last thing I was expecting him to knock out, if I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I was honestly expecting him to maybe target, like, Shaman or the other the Decidueye. Interesting. Huh. Okay, that's gonna open the door for me. I think we just Lele for N. Yeah. This matchup is still bad. Just the weakness, I think, is what kills me. But at least we got the Tapu Wilderness threat off the board, which I think is the only good thing to come out of this. So we'll go Lele, and we got to end him here. Wow, we're low on supporters. So that's not good. Um, that's not good. But at the very least, we can maybe set up a Lance Wraith one-shot in the coming turns, because it is hard to knock out my Decidueye. I can't knock it out with Lance Judgment with a Choice Band. Ooh, we got our own Choice Band. Can we knock him out here? Nah, we can, right? Hold on. We go Feather Arrow. Put the damage on him. I mean, we do Choice Band. It's not a knockout, though, right? 140. Yeah, we're, we're really short. If we got another Decidueye down, we wouldn't be. I'll just do the Choice Band anyways. Just try and put as much damage on things as I can so we can knock it out with Feather Arrow when it's just chilling on the bench. Seems fine. We might be able to take a few prizes next turn, which is really cool. I'm liking this position right now. I think the fact that he didn't knock out my Zygarde or even try and hit Decidueye is a big deal. I don't know why he hit that other Zygarde. That was like the last thing I was honestly expecting him to hit. Grabs Vega Volt. Yeah, because that's an easy knockout though. I'm not really worried about Vega Volt. He could do Gigatron, but he's not really hitting anything that big of it. You know, big, so it's fine. Man, the Strong Charge, man. This is a great ability. I love Vega Volt, man. I can't, I can never get salty when I play against Vega Volt. It's just such a cool card. It's one of my favorite cards in the format right now. But yeah, this dude is just, he is putting so much pressure on me right now, it's insane. He can just even Gigatron me. At least he can't knock out my Zygarde, though, that's good. But yeah, we will just, boop, pick him off with Feather Arrow. I think we just attack him here with the Decidueye, so we don't get Gigatron. Lysander? Ooh. I 
think I'm doing. I think I'm gonna retreat, and knock out that Vika Volt deck. Yeah, sure. We brought out Bulu. I mean, that's tempting to knock out. We can knock it out. Might as well. I don't mind. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away two cards I don't need anymore. Uh, what do I grab? I think we'd grab Carbon Break. Sure. No, we're, are we out of Rowlets? I think we are, right? No, one fries, right? We can't go triple to Uh, But yeah, just Razor Leaf him then. That's fine, sure. Take a quick knockout. Fourth of knocking me out was Charge Beam instead of going Gigatron. There's our Rowlet. If he knocks me out, we can get another Decidueye down. He's going to have to end me to two, but even if he does that, we have a Zygarde. He has to knock out my Zygarde here to save himself. He has to do a lot. I think we have a win. We can Lysander Shaman with Decidueye if he doesn't knock out Decidueye. We have Zygarde, which smokes his Vika Volt. The best thing he can do, I think, is just go into Tapu Koko GX and end me. Nope, retreats to Shaman. Okay, that's fine. Guess we win the game, then. That was a pretty quick win. Holy cow. I... I mean, I might be jumping the gun here, but I guess I'm not. Alright, just a scatter turn for 30. Wow. He's gonna bring out Baby Vika Volt, right? He kinda has to. It's the only thing that won't get knocked out. <laughs> but wow, I... If we even top deck another Decidueye, this game is just going good. But yeah, we can just lie standard the Vika Volt, knock it out, so it's all good. So, it was a good game. Very good game. Very close game, too, I'm not gonna lie. But... We can win. I'm surprised to win. Like, Bulu, the, the fact that he can power up so much energy, threatening matchup, but I'm surprised we pulled off that win. That was a really good game, though. Holy cow. <sighs> and, wow, we got some daily challenges done. We got a lot of coins out of that. We won't be able to buy a pack, though. But thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our PTO content. The Zygarde Decidueye deck, does it have potential? I don't know. You're hitting good weaknesses, right? You have a pretty awful weakness, because Grass right now is very popular. But at the same time, you do do a lot of good things. I really am comfortable with this list I have. I really enjoyed playing it. We had a few matchups that were not so good, but for the most part, we were able to win two matchups, both Bulu Vika Bolt that are, you know, grass matchups that are pretty awful. We were able to win both of them, which I think is a win in my books. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit like button, subscribe for more Peace Show content, and I'll see you guys on another video. Help me with the Road 2K subs. Peace out. Have a good day. See you guys later.